Hi guys, this is easy as one, two, three, and today we're going to talk about insulinoma. Um, the objective of this lecture is to talk about the major triad that is associated with insulinoma and how do you ins distinguish between insulinoma, someone who's injecting insulin from outside source, or if someone has sulfonylurea toxicity and someone is taking too much of that drug. So let's begin. So insulinoma, as the name suggests, insulin. Oma, insulin producing tumor. Insulin, as you all know, is produced in the beta cells of the pancreas. So this tumor arises from the beta cells of the pancreas. So how I remember insulinoma is that you know how people have DSL internet and DSL internet is supposed to be really fast. So what's the opposite of fast? The opposite of fast is slow, right? So a person who is who has a tumor uh, that's producing insulin will show symptoms of hypoglycemia and when you're, you're in your hypoglycemic when you're tired you're going to be slow so the DSL so the DSL stands for diplopia the S stands for syncope so when your brain does not get enough oxygen it's not getting any nutrients you're gonna actually pass out that's what syncope means and the L stands for lethargy you're, you're gonna be so tired you know you're gonna feel like something is not right you know there's, there's a thing you know how you're sick and you know you're not feeling good and you feel tired but it's not the normal tired you know you, you know something is not right so that's how I remember it. DSL is supposed to be fast, but in this case, it's supposed to be slow. And this this is a mnemonic I, I, I usually use to remember it by diplopia for D, S syncope, and L lethargy. So how do you differentiate if it's insulinoma or exogenous insulin or sulfonylurea? So okay, how I remember it by is I take these three, okay? And let's put them in each category and then we can talk about what's happening so let's talk about if someone is injecting insulin from outside what's going to happen if someone is injecting insulin from outside your glucose is going to be down right in insulin the glucose is going to be down and in sulfonylurea the glucose is going to be down and by down I mean it might be below 40 okay then in ins the thing is that the insulin level is going to be high in outside source insulinoma and sulfonyl insulin level is going to be high but but in insulinoma the C peptide is going to be high because as you both all know that insulin is secreted along with C peptide same thing is going to happen to sulfonylurea. T peptide is going to be high, but if you're injecting your insulin from outside, that insulin has no C peptide, so this C peptide is going to be down. So you can get rid of this right away. But then, how do you know if insulinoma or sulfonylurea? You're going to do a couple of tests. The one test is that you're going to check urine sulfonylurea quantity. Okay, so what does that mean is that you're going to check the sulfonylurea level in the urine because it's metabolized, right? So that, and then you're going to do a couple of tests. As you all know, insulinoma, and I talked about my gastrinoma and, my, and, and other tumors, is that they're neuroendocrine tumors. And neuroendocrine tumors contain what? They contain somatostatin receptors. So neuroendocrine tumors contain somatostatin, somato statin receptors so what you're gonna do is that you're gonna give them give them radio labeled somatostatin I'm sorry guys kind of it's kind of mixed up but you're gonna give someone radio labeled somatostatin and then this will tell you the location also you might do a CT scan and it might show you the location as well and ultrasonography these are the couple of different ways you can just uh, find out the location and these are the tests you can perform to distinguish between gluco, uh, the insulinomas, sulfonylurea toxicity, and exogenous insulin. And 
guys please remember the triad DSL okay diplopia syncope and lethargy and that's it easy as one two three